Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Northern Fell Running. Welcome to the gentle rolling hills of the Cheviots. Whoa! Who put that there? Morning everybody. Morning. You thought we'd forgotten. Well, <laughs> We're back in Scotland. We are at the place we finished at on Recky 2. One mile off the fair. What's it called? Cockle Foot. Foot. So uh, we're heading on the, up the big ones today. Cheviot, Coonfell, Hedge Up, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a chilly one, isn't it? That's why the cows are gone. <laughs> no more cows for me, but yeah, we're on our way up to you now, so stick with us for this final leg of the Cheviot Goat. So after climbing what only feels about a mile out of Cockrell Foot, you go up a bit of a climb and then pops into view. We have got Hen Hall. This is a big ravine on the back side of Cheviot, on the Scottish side, uh, which is pretty impressive. I'll show you a bit closer when we get to it. Sorry if I'm shouting, but it is a bit windy today. Right, guys, just before you start to climb up Hen Hall, you are greeted with this lovely sight of a mountain hut. I wanted to say that inside because you probably won't hear me when I step outside, it's so windy. This is the mountain rescue hut. And this is Hen Hole. You've got to get on that. At the top there, that's Hawk up Hen. And then it's about, it's about a mile and a half from Orc of Ken to the top of Cheviot. Don't be fooled when you get to the top thinking you've made it because you haven't. And it's still going up. Yeah. So we're just getting extra clothing on to get up Hen Hall because it's really cold. Right, so knowing my GoPro as I do, it doesn't do very well in the wind. So this could be my last coherent sentence we get it back off the top of TV. So I might keep it just quiet and just show you visuals. Because it might be a waste of time. Are we ready to boogie Lee? There you go guys. There's Hen Hole. Beautiful. Goes down to the waterfall at the bottom. Got the three sisters. College Valley. We are going, well, there's Lee. We're following Lee. Hey guys, we are just arriving at Org of Ken. Org of Ken comes in at the height of. There's a view behind me into Scotland. Now, two things you've got to consider when you get here. That climb I've just done is the biggest climb 
we're all going to do in the whole race. And you're going to hit it at around about mile 30, 31. And also, unless you're an elite runner, it's going to be getting dark. So you got that to bear in mind as well. Pity because you'll miss these. sort of weather on Cheviot. It could be gale force winds, torrential rain, or it could be snow and a complete whiteout like in the video I'm showing you right now. Summit comes in at ding just under 3,000 feet. Right then, after you've touched the trig, take a left off the path, see if you can find this stone wall and follow it. Right then guys, we're on a very wet path. We've left Cheviot, us behind us, come down this nice, easy to see path. We're on our way to Bloody Bush Edge and Cushat Law. Oh, it is wet up here, like wowzers. That was like running down a river. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the race is in six days time from our perspective today. It's Sunday today, race is on Saturday. You're all probably tapering for your race and uh, <laughs> Lee should be doing the same now. We should be going up here, Bloody Bush Edge. But um, I think doing an ultra marathon six days before the event is a bit much for Lee. So we are gonna cut this corner off. I'm gonna insert now a little clip from when we were at Bloody Bush Edge a couple of weeks ago, so you can see what it's like up there. It's not pleasant. It's where Lee went up to his uh, waist in a peat bog. So that's where you'll be going up there. Here's the clip now. We are gonna cut a couple of uh, miles off and we're heading now to the checkpoint two on Willie. Okay guys, after you have summited Bloody Bush Edge and then on to Cushat Law, you'll drop down to a little farm on the Salters Road and we think it is called Lee? Low Bleak Hope, I think. Low Bleak Hope Farm. And here's a nice little clip of some of the front runners coming into that checkpoint from last year's race. Right after that checkpoint, you are gonna start climbing up to Coombe Fell. And it's pretty steep. Right, we're just arriving at Cold Law Cairn or Cold Law Crag. And we're sort of making our way around Coombe Fell. You are so lucky. 
you don't even know. So you'll be missing off the, the main evil and you'll be going around it. <clears throat> there are a few. Woo. Yeah, home fell just next to me there. Horrible place. That's where fell when I was going to die. Now although we've avoided Coombe Fell, that section coming down from Coal Law was pretty boggy. I've got to say, uh, I think we are about to start coming down in a minute, which I am looking forward to. After this massive bog here, says Lee. Oh, look at this. So this is what it's been like coming through. Cool law. It's, yeah. Right guys, as we've said, we're chopping a couple of corners off today to save Lee's legs. Oh, gold. <laughs> as the race is only in six days time, we didn't think it was a good idea to do an ultra marathon. So in front of us, is hedge uphill you will be climbing up that we are going to go around it here's a nice little clip though of what it can look like on top Right then guys, another very clear view of your route. That there is Hedge Up Hill. After Hedge Up, you're gonna go down a little valley. Then you're gonna come up this hill here. This is Dunmore Hill. And after that, you come down, you go through some lovely crags called Cunyon Crags, which will take you back down to Ingram Valley. You'll have one more hill obstacle to get over, which is Brooklaw or at least to go around it and then you'll be back to the cafe at Ingram and you will have completed the goat and I tell you what you'll have my eternal respect because now I've done the full route wow it is monstrous and you're doing it in 60s Lee right. looking forward to it? yes and no Yes and no. Come on, time for a bit of honesty. Bit are of you, honesty. Are you nervous? Of course I'm, of course I'm nervous. Um, I, I suppose I'll be the same as everyone else who's doing it, checking the weather forecast every every hour <laughs> for when it's been updated for the, yeah. the long rain. But uh, if the weather stays all right, I would take today's weather, yep. even though it's cold. Um, wind, wind is a big factor. That's 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 my main concern. I'm not really bothered about rain. Uh, so as long as it's not windy. Hopefully I'll get round. Just yet. So this is where you'll come down and meet the road. Yep, this is where you uh, come off Cunyon Crags. We are here, Ingram Valley, what's in front of Willie? It's rough law. Just rough the lovely side. Lovely. There's a hill fort on top of there. Anybody ever comes to visit Northumberland outside of the race, climb up the top of that. You'll be very pleasantly surprised. Well, that's it, Lee. That's it, we're back to the cafe. That's the last recce done. Cheviot goat is done. That is just... No, it's done, it's next Saturday, man. For you, huh? for me it's done. <laughs> <laughs> that is monstrously big route, that like. Even we're cutting off the hard bits at the end there as well. Mm. Still hard. Yeah. yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, Good luck to all you runners that are doing it next week and future runners. Hope you find this video useful. And good yeah. luck to you, dude. Yeah, I'll see everyone on the start line. On yeah. Saturday. I'll be there as well. So uh, give, a, give a thumbs up if you see the cameras and uh, you might feature on our next video. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>